Hi, my name is Steve Carlton. I'm the sales manager here at McKevitt Volvo in San Leandro. The Volvo XC90 is the number one safest car in the world at this point in time. Um, it didn't get there by accident. Volvo has always made safety their number one concern since the day the company was formed. They investigate their own serious accidents in Sweden, probably approaching 50,000 accidents since 1970. The previous generation XC90 was built with 8% ultra high strength steel, also known as boron steel. This one is built with 40% ultra high strength steel. Volvo has a vision package, which is probably the most popular option on the car. It consists of blind spot information system, which is lights that come on in the mirrors when another car is behind the car and to the side. It also has a 360 camera, which involves a composite of four cameras in the two mirrors, the front of the car and the back of the car. It builds a composite image that appears to be coming from above the car and looking down on it. So when you're in a parking lot, uh, you can see everything around you, including guidelines, and it's just phenomenal. It's like you're looking at the car from above. The convenience package includes the semi-autonomous driving, Volvo calls it Pilot Assist 2, where the car tracks its position in the lane with the two lane dividers and also engages the adaptive cruise control to maintain a given interval with the car in front of it. So up to 80 miles an hour, if the lane markers are good, it'll drive itself in the lane. I think one of the top selling points of the Volvo is the seat comfort and that's always been a priority for Volvo and they have Swedish orthopedic surgeons review the design and evaluate the seats. Another popular feature of the XC90 is the power lift gate which will be activated by your foot going underneath the back bumper whether you're opening it or closing it. I would say one of the most compelling safety features of the car is the center screen and the dash. It's uh, unusual and it's a portrait mode. It's fairly large at nine inches and it's also very user friendly. The home screen has four bars. One of them is navigation. The next one is media like AM, FM, radio, uh, CD if it's equipped, uh, satellite radio. The third bar is phone for your cell phone, your address book, your recently made calls. The fourth bar is, the, uh, is a bookmark for wherever you were last. To the left of the home screen is another screen for settings. To the right of the home screen is another set for um, applications.